Hi everybody, my name is Cara Layton. I am the exercise physiologist working with you guys and husband's baby this year to help you all stay active while we're at home. If you haven't exercised in a while or you have a new health condition or you're just not quite sure, please contact your GP or a trusted health professional that you are currently working with to get clearance before you complete some exercises. Now, before we complete our exercises today, we're just going to have a general chat about the benefits of exercise and the list is huge. It goes on and on and on. So firstly, the main points that include the benefits of exercise are improving our fitness, okay? Improving our muscle strength, improving our balance, which will then reduce our risk of falls and improve our mobility. So that means being able to walk around easier and complete our activities at home with ease, all right? Which is all really, really important. The other benefits of exercise include management of conditions such as high blood pressure, high cholesterol, type two diabetes, and there's a big, big list of these as well, okay? But the main thing I want you to think about during these times is that exercise helps to improve our mood. It makes us feel good, okay? I can guarantee after some sort of movement, you will feel better, okay? Exercise helps to boost our mood, as I said. It helps to improve our sleep, which is also really, really important. And it helps to reduce feelings of anxiety and depression, okay? In this time where we are at home, there's lots of things changing around us. There's lots of different situations that we're in. It's really, really important that we get moving to make us feel good. And that is the main, main thing I want you to think about. You do what makes you feel good. So if for you making you feel good is going for a 10 minute walk, great. If for you it's riding a bike, even better. If for someone else it means doing a Zumba class inside or dancing around in their lounge room while they do some cleaning, great. Okay, all we want you to do is move as much as we can and in a way that makes you feel good. The main question I get asked is how much should I do? Okay, now according to the Australian Physical Activity Guidelines, they do recommend 150 minutes of moderate activity per week, which equates to about half an hour per day. Now, if you haven't exercised in a while, as I said, I always recommend starting with five to 10 minutes. Much, much more achievable. We also use that as a point to make sure we're feeling good again, we're not too sore, it's not exacerbating any pain anywhere because as I said, we want to feel good, okay? We wanna use this exercise to make us feel better. So if you can start with a 10 minute walk or a five minute walk up the street and back or around the block at home, that would be a great start, okay? If we can do our exercise outside, that's even better, okay? Because studies show that exercising outside also helps to boost our mood. So it's really, really good to help clear the mind and it just makes us feel a little bit better to get out into some fresh air. So if you can do the walking outside around the block, great. If the weather isn't really letting you do so, that's fine. Walk up and down your hallway or do some step ups at home. They're all really, really good ideas. Now, in terms of what we're doing today, we'll be doing a few exercises. And as I said before, making sure that you are feel nice and safe. I will give you two options. We'll be doing level one and we'll be doing level two. Now, I recommend if you haven't exercised in a while or this is your first time exercising, please only complete level one exercises, okay? If you feel good after that, great. Then next session or you can come back and visit this video again and you can try level two. But for today, please just complete level one. Throughout all of the exercises, please only complete them if you feel safe. If for some reason you feel a bit uneasy, just have a sit down and have a breather. Again, if you haven't exercised, please get clearance before you do so. So first thing I want you to get out of this video is exercise to make you feel good, okay? We wanna use it to make us feel good and make us feel better. Two, do what you enjoy. So if that means dancing in the lounge room or going for a bike ride, do whatever you like because I can guarantee if you enjoy doing it, you will. Thirdly, if you need some ideas, we will go through some exercises now, okay? If you need to pause this video right now, pause this video and grab yourself a chair. All you'll need today is a chair. Please do not have a chair with wheels. Make sure the chair is nice and sturdy, such as your kitchen chair or a desk chair, something nice and sturdy. Please do not use your couch, as I said, or any chairs with wheels. So a nice sturdy chair and we will get ready for some exercises.
All right, guys, we are ready to do our exercises. We have got our nice, sturdy chair to sit on, okay? Nice, sturdy with a nice back so that you can use the back to sit on, okay? So sitting down in your chair, have your feet hip width and feet nice and flat on the ground, making sure that they stay flat on the ground the whole time for this exercise. Now, our first exercise is called a sit to stand. Now, if you do have handles on your chair, great. Use them to start with. This is level one. So using your handles on your chair, you will stand up tall, use your handles again, and you will sit back down onto the chair. Okay, you will stand up and you will sit down. Now, if you don't have handles on your chair, use the bottom of your chair. So you'll be able to have your hands there, or if you don't have um, a wide enough chair, you pop your hands underneath your thighs, underneath your legs, and you'll push up from the bottom of the chair and stand up. And then you hold on to the chair and you sit down. You come up again, standing up tall and sitting down. We're going to do one more, standing up tall and then sitting down. Okay, they are called sit to stand. Now we're going to have a rest. I recommend at least 30 seconds to a minute of rest in between each set or each round of exercises. Okay. So this sit to stand is a full body movement, okay? Really, really good for our leg muscles and a whole combined exercise that we use every day. We need to get on and off the toilet, we need to get in and out the car, off the couch, out of the kitchen chair. Lots and lots of benefits for this exercise. It is my favorite. So if you only pick one exercise, this is the one for you, okay? If you're on level one, as I said, please stick to that exercise. So continue with your handles or continue with using the base of your chair for support. If you've done this exercise before, or this may be a second or third time to you are completing these exercises, sorry. Place your arms across your chest, feet flat on the ground, push through your heels and stand up tall. Again, you will sit back down. Good job. Stand up tall, sitting back down. Good job. Use your legs to push yourself up. We've got two more. Coming up and down and one more and down again. Okay, have a little breather. If you need to rest your arms, you can. If that position isn't comfortable for you for some reason, you can also pop your hands out. However, that will be a little bit harder. So again, level one, hands on the chair or hands on your handles for support. Level two, arms across your chest or arms out. I prefer arms across my chest, okay? But you can do whatever you like. We've got five more seconds. All right, let's go everybody. Make sure your feet are flat on the ground and up. Good. Now, if you're doing it slower than me, that's also fine. If you're doing it a little bit quicker, when it's easy, that's also fine as well. We're going to do two more reps. And that makes five. Well done, everybody. That is called a sit to stand. Okay, our next exercise is a heel raise. So, what you'll need to do is hold on to the ends of your chair, feet underneath your hips. So, there will be a hip width here. If they are too close together, that puts us a little bit off balance. Okay, so making sure when you do stand at any time that you have a nice base of support, and that's good for your balance and your stability. Okay, for this exercise, we will stand in this position. Holding onto the chair, we will come up onto our toes, lifting our heels, and then down. So it's one second up, one second down. Holding onto the chair, level one. Good. Five, okay, now you notice today we're just doing five reps. This might be the first time for you that you've exercised in a long time. So we need to start nice and slow, and over the coming weeks, we will make it a bit harder, all right? We rest again. Now, if you are level two, you can try with one hand or you can try with fingertips. So you only put your fingertips on the chair at the end rather than gripping the chair. You hold your fingertips and you come up or you can do one-handed, okay? You pick what's good for you, but if you are level one, you must hold onto the chair. Coming up. Good job. All right, 
Friday, you will feel that in these muscles here, that is normal. So we're working the muscles at the back of our leg, and these are really, really important to make strong to help us with our walking, okay? We're going to do one round, but we'll have a little bit of a rest. So again, level one, holding onto the chair. Level two, you do your fingertips on the chair, or you just hold with one hand, okay? Let's go, last round, five to go. One second up, one second down. So the slower you do this movement, the harder it will be. So just for now, one second up, and then one second down, okay? Well done, that is called a standing calf raise or a standing heel raise. So if you do see that anywhere, that is that exercise. Okay, our third exercise, excuse me, <laughs> is a leg out, leg tap to the side, we'll call it. So you're gonna be using your chair, but this is just to show you the movement. Your leg will tap and in. Your toe will tap and in, okay? But for us, we're going to hold on to the chair. So, if you can see me, my hands are on the chair again. I'm standing nice and tall. I'm firstly gonna start with my right leg. I'll bring my right leg out and then I'll come in. I'll bring my right leg out, I'll tap my toe and then come back in. This works our hip muscles and very, very good for our hip mobility. So to get our hips moving, I tap my toe and I come back in and I tap my toe and I come back in, okay? Then I swap sides. For you guys, I'm going to do it front on just so you can see from this way. So this is my left side. Tap and then in. Tap and then in. I'm holding on. Tap. In. Two more. Well done. Okay, we have a rest. We'll go back to side on. Okay. Have a little bit of a breather. You can do a little shimmy or a little move if you like. Okay, just working our big glute muscles here, which is in our hip. Very, very good for us, okay? We need strong hips and strong muscles there to help with our walking and to help with our general movement. Okay, back again to our right side. So we're standing tall, we're going to tap our toe. Now you don't have to go out far. You just do a little tap, probably about 30 centimeters or so. Making sure you're looking ahead nice and tall. Good job, and then you're going to swap sides. So you stand on your right leg and you tap out your left. I know you can't see this one very well. So we've got three more to go. Three, four, five. Good job, so I can feel my hips are all warmed up and you might feel a little bit, and that's completely normal. That's showing us that our muscles are working, okay? So that is our side toe tap. Our next exercise is a backwards toe tap. So, what we're going to do is bring our leg behind, tap our toe, and bring it in. So bend your leg, straighten it out, bend it, come back in. Now, if we try and straighten it fully, our leg will just drag, we might hit our toe, which we don't want. So, you want to bend your leg to lift it, straighten it out, you're using this big muscle here on your bottom, and then you're bringing it back in. Again, level one, we are holding onto the chair the whole time. That's five, good job. Now we'll do our left leg. So we stand on our right leg or a bit more weight in our right. We lift our left, we bring it back and we tap. Good job. Okay, that's five on each side. Now, level one, as I said, is holding on. Level two, you don't need to hold on, okay? So you can do the movement without holding on. Same thing is back, tap, and forward. Back, tap, and forward. Now, this will add in a balance component for you. So again, if you do feel a bit wobbly, you're making sure you're grabbing a hold of the chair once more. And rest. Good job. Now, if you do want to go from level one, you're thinking you might want to give it a go, again, you can use your fingertips. So this just means we've got less upper body support. So we use our fingertips. Now we're doing our left leg. Our left leg comes back. Good job. That's three, four, five. Well done. So that's your toe tap back, all finished. Very, very good. Our next exercise
exercise that we'll be doing is marching on the spot. So this time we'll be standing next to our chair with one hand holding on and we're going to lift our legs. Okay, so just like walking on the spot, but nice and slow, doesn't have to be quick. We're going to do 20 of them, that's already 10. Bringing them up to whatever feels comfortable. For some it might be like this, for some it might be like this, and for some you might be feeling really good today and you might be able to get your legs up nice and high. Okay, and then we rest. Then, while we're resting, I'm gonna go through level two. Now I bet you can guess what level two is. Level two is no hands. And what I want you to do is start to use your arms when you're going, okay? So level one will be having your hold onto your chair as you do your leg lifts. Level two will be walking. You can either have your arms down or if you want an extra challenge, you're going to go with your arms as well, okay? So we're going to start now. Level one, level two, no hands. Or if you want a challenge, you've got some big walking on the spot, marching. Five more, one, two, three, four, five. Good job, we're nearly there. We've done lots and lots of exercises already, okay? The next one I'm going to get you to sit back down into your chair, just as we're finishing off. And I'm going to get you to do some ankle circles. So lifting your leg up and circling your foot around. Now nice and slow, five one way, and then stop and then try your best to go five the other, that's the tricky one. Good, and then other side. Now if it is too hard to lift your foot, that's fine, you pop your heel on the ground and you do the same thing. Stop, other way. All right, so you pop your heel on the ground and then you do circles as your heel is on the ground, okay? So today we're going to do them up. All right, shake your legs out. We've nearly finished our exercises for today. We're going to finish with some shoulder rolls backwards. Now this is a good one. You can do this any time throughout the day. A lot of us at home at the moment will be sitting a bit more than normal. So we might be feeling it a little bit in our shoulders. That's completely normal. So let's do some shoulder rolls to release them a bit. Okay. Four more. Well done, you've completed all your exercises for today. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. However, again, as I said, please make sure that you do your exercises safely. Make sure that you contact your health professional or your GP before you exercise so that you are safe to do so. Make sure you have a nice, safe chair. If there is someone home, make sure someone's home when you are doing your exercises and take it nice and slow. Now, if you need to, you can always come back to these exercises and do them again. I would recommend if it is your first time not to do the exercises tomorrow, maybe go for a little walk and then try your exercises the next day just to prevent you from being sore if you may be, okay? I hope you enjoyed today's session. I will be coming back to you over the next coming weeks. So please come back and say hello. Thanks guys. My name is Cara Layton and I will see you soon.